Hi everyone, this quick update about VeChain. I'm really sorry, last few days actually I have exams and my work, I don't have really time, that's the reason. So already I completed all my exams, guys. So right now we will have a great time period to talk about. And because of the previously I already explained, we can expect it to all the price to move higher and I give all the direction. That's why I hopefully people are still subscribing the channel because what I talk about few days ago, so it's still valid that all the topics. So right now, what we can expect it from the VeChain, that's the scenario we're going to explain and what uh, where the price going to be and and what's my expectation. So right now, previously, you guys remember if I show you something, the bearish market and the bullish market sentiment change is happened here. You guys remember. Uh, bullish divergence indicator it shows this is the bullish divergence we're seeing and the massive price move after that you guys can see the bearish divergence so you guys can see the bearish divergence the how the bearish divergence actually the indicator that meaning rsi it's dropping and the price is increasing that's how it is the people started to call as a bearish divergence we can expect it massive pullback in case of where the bearish divergence end though this is the area we're seeing the bearish divergence end after that we're seeing the massive drops is happen that drop is by yesterday so you guys remember almost drop below 020226 level that meaning bearish divergence and the rsi completely re, uh, reset so after that there is not bearish divergence so we can expect it along with the rsi price to move higher so that is amazing opportunity by the way guys so that's what we need to know how you identify bearish divergence so along with the prices and the rsi in case of rsi is moving down the prices increasing that is going to be the bearish divergence when the rsi coming down uh, the prices moving down the rsi moving higher that's going to be the bullish divergence so that is the easiest way to identify otherwise you will have the my indicator this is the best indicator you can find out easily bottom when we see in the bottom line the blue line so after that we can expect at the peaks you guys can see in the peak we can move a little bit higher so after that the super peak we already dropped so still we did not drop below than the previous low so concerning you guys can see that is the level after that what you guys seeing the massive price reaction so along with the indicator so right now price reactions and how you identify i already explained so we'll see in the daily chart the wave count so for me the way of the wave count i need to go to four hour chart because it's some how it's little bit issue so according to my view someone can consider like this straight away wave one and two right now we are in the wave three four five so this is the my wave count i really love to see in a this wave wave count someone can ask why because i did not see there is the massive drops there is no the prices in case of if i check it out from the bottom we did not achieve any of the price target apart from here so at least minimum two fip levels we already drop it so that's going to be the major support level for me and i seeing the so many people they started to talk about the five waves wave one two and the three four we are in the fifth wave and that's also some kind of wave count but i'm not 100 percent happy with that uh, i will explain you the reason why i'm not that much happy with that in case of if i check it out the bottom and the peak we're seeing the minimum requirement even i really love to see 382 fip level as a wave 2 is very low so concerning 50 percentage of uh 382 fip level that's why i'm saying the easiest way to catch the the second levels in here 382 fip level below so that's amazing for me even the both wave count is correct i'm not saying it's not correct it's correct in case of because why it's going to be correct the wave count because of this reason actually when we check it out the wave one 
and the two and the third wave already hit one to one ratio so that's the concern we think third wave hit the one to one ratio and the next thing is not correct almost and now next thing is going to be correct as well so you guys can see the one to one ratio we already had after that the four wave the wave four is already landed 618 fifth level as a more than the second wave so my extra you guys remember i always giving the extra extended the wave count as a wave four supposed to be 50 percentage fibonacci retracement my extended wave count is going to be 618 fifth level so we get the support from the 618 fifth level so even this wave count is correct so that's what i i just want to show you but i love to take as a wave three for vchain because i did not see the massive moves so wave three is the massive moves we can expect that more than the wave a so actually the length of wave a that's going to be the wave three so the length of wave a is here this much okay now in case of in the bottom of the wave two where are we going to be again zero three eight seven five that meaning it's going to chase this fifth wave by three waves of mine so that's my expectation always i have the very huge lens so that's the concern guys so i would love to see in here as well the concerning the higher wave count because of i really love to see the higher wave count because of it's giving the best opportunity by the way to find out easily and right now again if you go with the yellow wave count the fifth if I show you where the price is going to be and okay the yellow wave count the price already end so that's the concern guys the yellow wave count is price already end because we achieved the green wave price targets so in case of we achieve the green wave price target what we can expect it massive drop so that drop is the disaster so right now you guys can see in case of we count as a yellow wave count so the yellow wave count is the five waves move is completed so five waves move is complete what will happen the pullback is sure so that pullback is going to be the same place where we start for so in case we will check it out where the pullback going to be so pull back roughly roughly pull back again i love to see the healthy pull back the same area 50 percentage and fibonacci retracement and in below we have the red zone price target that meaning i don't want to see below two cents for a large of second wave that is the wave count which i just want to show you i seeing the most of the content creators they talk about it so that's the explanation about that the people believe that much because i don't get that much views because i see the views of the thousand of views people who ever talk about that way now check it out in a my wave count guys so as of now my wave count <coughs> sorry as of now my my wave count i'm in a larger wave three so according to my larger wave three guys so I will show you something very important. So I already completed wave two. So roughly calculate my larger wave three expectation is here. That meaning somewhere one of the my resistant levels is lying there. I will show you exact my resistant level is here. Zero three six six five resistance level. That's the expectation, and in between, zero three two nine nine uh, resistance level. So the concerning this is the price target. That's going to be amazing wave uh, three. So we can expect it to move little bit higher than that. So after that, we get as a minimum requirement. So what is going to be? So right now we chase that level so again we can expect it to touch here that going to be three cent level as a wave four this is the expectation somewhere here in a between we can expect it to reverse so in this is the higher level and this is the lower levels as well 
so after that where we going to be as a wave fifth it's little bit higher so comparing to other old altcoins they already moved 3x guys so we did not see that 3x that's my major concern about the wave count the minimum all the tokens they move 3x from the bottom so still we did not move 3x that is the one of my concern about the price uh, to calculate the wave count you guys can see right now we already 100% gain only 100% gain only so that's the view about the v chain and in case of actually what i want it to be uh, one more time to move higher so in case of what happened where my wave count here so this is the wave count should be wave one and two and now we need to check three and four so we already have the two and three we know where we're going to be and this is the three we get as four here so the fifth is going to be here somewhere else almost four six nine two and five two cents in a between so that's the expectation for me so then we can expect that the massive drops so other than we will started to talk about the wave two that's going to be not that much great so by the way i hopefully you guys understand so anytime because we're seeing them uh, highly volatile is which and so right now i think it's already hit the two uh zero three two level right now already drop in a zero uh three zero nine two level so while we started to talk about you guys can see we already achieved this level so right now we're seeing the massive drops as well and within an hour so if i check it out you guys can see where we started and is the pullback has happened so uh, it's highly volatile in case of we check so right now what we're seeing here dollar index also same and the gold index is raised so apart from that we don't have any good news we'll see how the s p 500 react today so that's what we need to check it out guys and we should have that opportunity by the way so if you love the content subscribe the channel press the like button leave a comment this is the long time view guys so you guys need to check it out these are all the price targets and details and keep it in your mind you can trade easily thank you very much have a lovely day be safe